Hi, my name is Michelle LaFontaine, and I'm the program manager for the Pregnancy and Infant Loss Network. I come to this work as a bereaved mother, as my husband and I benefited from peer support when we lost our twins in 2005. Pale Network provides peer support and education with a mandate from the Ministry of Health, and we're here to share information with you today so that if you or anyone you know experiences the loss of your pregnancy or the death of your baby, then you'll be able to benefit from support that we provide as well. The peer-led support that we offer is at no cost for any family in Ontario, and we do this in many different ways. Peer support is really a foundational piece of our program, and all of our support programs are offered by volunteers with a lived experience of loss who then come to Pale Network about two years post bereavement, receive training from us, and then are able to support families who are walking a similar journey to theirs. We have a mixed loss group, and that group meets once a month. All of our groups currently are still meeting online uh, due to COVID, and we look forward to being back in person with families when it's safe to do so. The mixed loss group means that you could be in a group with families who have many different types of losses, and oftentimes uh, families are able to then see that their grief and their pain is very similar to other families, regardless of the type of loss. The one-to-one -one phone support that we offer is for families who are not yet ready to attend a support group and would prefer to speak with someone who's had a very similar experience to theirs. Uh, this is offered uh, by referral. We have phone support volunteers who are matched then as closely as we can with the family who's requesting support. And sometimes we're able to do that geographically as well as a similar type of loss. And so the mo more information that families provide to us, the better we can match you with a volunteer who can have four phone calls with you uh, to be able to talk you through uh, and hear you and really just listen to your experience and perhaps share some of their experience with you as well. What most families choose is our loss specific online support. And so you can see here the number of groups that we offer for many different types of losses. And this was really something that we heard from families who were attending mixed loss group. And while they found value in meeting with families and learning about different ways that families were coping with their losses, they also wanted to have space with families who had a very similar experience to theirs. So we do have groups for first trimester losses, second trimester losses, and third trimester losses. We have a group for infant and neonatal loss. We have a group for families who experience the sudden and unexpected death of their infant. We have a group for the termination of a pregnancy. And we also have group for families who are pregnant after a loss. We've recently begun offering support for partners in grief. Uh, this month, which is April, we started offering grief after abortion group. And next month in May, we'll be offering a parenting through grief group. The Parenting Through Grief group is for families who have living children at the time of their loss, or perhaps they have experienced a loss and then gone on to have a child. And it's really for families to be able to connect with one another, to start to normalize their experiences, and to feel like they're not so isolated in their grief as they learn to incorporate the loss into their life in a meaningful way. Another part of our program is healthcare professional education. And we traveled the province in 2017, right after we joined with Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center to really listen to families and from healthcare professionals across Ontario. And we asked them the same questions. And we went into those that needs assessment, really thinking that families would tell us that our priority should be offering more support and that healthcare professionals would tell us that our priority should be offering more education. And what we heard from families and from healthcare providers was that more education was needed. And so we brought that into equal focus and we now are able to offer compassionate care workshops that are full day learning opportunity that's evidence based and taught in a dyad. So that means we have one professional who teaches alongside a parent with lived experiences who also teaches. Each of those workshops has a family panel where we invite families to come and share their experience and tell the healthcare professionals what was most helpful for them at the time of their loss and also sometimes to share what was not as helpful for them so that healthcare professionals can continue to improve the bereavement care that they provide to families. On our website, you'll find lots of information for professionals, including videos. Uh, we offer interprofessional education for students in the medical fields. 
uh, and we do provide a quarterly newsletter for professionals as well. We're looking at building some web-based learning modules, and all of that is to support the professionals who care for you at the time of your loss. For families, we have a number of printed resources that are available online for you to view, but we can also mail them out to you at no cost. So the resources that we currently have available are miscarriage, stillbirth, infant death, and a booklet for pregnancy after loss. We have a booklet for families who are making a very difficult choice to end a pregnancy. And we have a booklet to guide you if you have living children that you're looking to share the information with, and you're just not sure how to be able to do that with developmentally appropriate language and ideas on how to take care of yourself while you're parenting. Some, a booklet that we're working on is a loss of a multiple. We've heard from many families that this is a gap in the bereavement care that they're looking for, that they're continuing to parent the living multiple while grieving the death of the multiple who has passed away. So we do have this booklet coming soon. All of our booklets are available uh, to be translated into the top six language spoken in Ontario, and again are available free of cost for families, and professionals can order them for a dollar a booklet to have them in their clinics and in their organizations to give to families at the time of their loss. Some other web-based resources that we have, we have a whole series called Helping Others Understand Your Grief. We have a version for families, a version for friends, a version for coworkers, as well as a version for your employer, because we know that as the griever, it's an additional pressure that is really difficult for you to try and explain what your needs are when someone says, how can I help? I want to be there to support you, but I just don't know how. And so families told us that this resource would be a helpful thing for them to just give to somebody or to designate someone in their life who can say, I don't know what to do here. Well, look at this resource and see if that will be helpful for you with some guiding information. We also have support for grandparents in a web resource because we can understand that the loss of a grandchild is very challenging at while the grandparent is watching their child grieve the loss of that baby. And lastly, we have a web resource for families that talks about milk production after loss, as this is often a shocking reminder uh, that happens in your body after you've experienced the loss of your baby. And it's important for families to understand what their options are and how to manage with that. The brochures that Pale Network, Pale Network offers are at free of cost. Uh, they can be provided to any professional anywhere in Ontario who wants to have them available for families. Another piece of the work that we do is around awareness and advocacy, and you can see there at the top the hashtag unsilence the conversation. That was a campaign that we launched last year to really do just that, to offer information and a way for families to share their loss on their social media platforms and to be able to tell their story that they perhaps have never told before to shed some light on this often ignored and not talked about conversation that we really need to talk more about. The other piece of the Unsilence the Conversation campaign was the baby ad opt-out. So many families are on social media platforms. They perhaps have already shared that information on their social media. And now that the baby has died, it's a painful space for them to be in as they're inundated. We know the algorithms and how they work. And so they're still seeing ads about babies and parenting. And if you go to unsilencedtheconversation.com or go to palenetwork.ca, you'll be able to find the information on how to change that and so that you'll no longer see baby ads as you're traversing your social media channels. The pictures that you see here uh, for the October 15th campaign, that's the CN Tower that's been lit in purple and that's lit every year on October the 15th, along with many, many different memorials across of Ontario and around the world. The wave of light is on October the 15th and goes from 7 until 8 p.m. when you light a candle, starting a 24-hour wave of light in each of the time zones in each of the countries all over the world. Pale Network often will host events on those days. We've hosted in-person events for families to come together. And this June, we're hosting a Walk to Remember, which is the first in-person event that we've been able to offer since 2019. 
Thank you so much for your attention today. We would love for you to be able to keep in touch and ask any questions that you have for you or for anyone in your life who may benefit from the support that we can offer you at Pale Network. If you have any questions, feel welcome to reach out to us with the information that you see in the comments and we'll be sure to have someone get back to you. Thank you.